second it hit the water. I didn't even feel them. I just pulled down on Bug-eyed boy we were looking for. Woo! Get you some of that! Get you some of that! Video. This evening we went out to the pond and we were throwing around a Stanley Top Toad. We had pretty overcast conditions, clouds were kind of moving in and out, had a little bit of wind. We were kind of having some uh, storms move in that can really make the top water bite good, especially in the summertime. What I was basically doing is I was targeting these bass that were hanging out around, around shoreline cover, whether that's just the bank itself or shallow grass around the bank. Caught some also off of some old old fence posts that were out there. Basically any cover I could find that was in, you know, less than three foot of water, that's what I was fishing. I was primarily using just a steady retrieve with the top toad on a 765 Dobbins Champion flipping rod with a high speed lose reel, 65 pound Power Pro braided line. I really like this rod on the top toads because I make really long casts with it since it's a longer rod. So making as you know, far as cast as I can, try not to spook any of these fish that are in shallow water. Um, a lot of these fish were right up next to the cover, and the second that bait would hit the water, as you can see in the video, that fish would hit and blow up on it. I feel that if I would have had to, you know, been using a shorter rod and might not have been able to make that cast, if I had been a little closer to those fish, I could have possibly spooked them. So I really like to be able to back off and make those long casts with that top toe. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Leave a comment in the video uh, you know, if you have any questions about the technique. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Until I see you next time, God bless and tight line.